kind of like curtain raiser for the WTA and the uh, the WTA's clay court season, the European season. Big names are playing. Big names are pulled out, though. So let's start with the withdrawal list. So players that are withdrawn from the Stuttgart Open. Azarenka is pulled out. So is Collins. Krejcikova is pulled out. We haven't seen her for a long time. She's going to be able to play at the French Open in a few months' time or a couple weeks' time. We'll keep an eye on her. Ostapenko is also out. Pavlyuchenkov is out. She's been out with a knee problem for a long time. And Svetolina is out as well. So big names that are not playing in this event. All of those either top 10 or former top 10 players. All right, top of the draw. We've got eight seeds in this one. Sviantek, the number one in the world. She is back. She's going to continue the streak. Hopefully for her, I guess. Continue the streak. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Golubic or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Paolini versus Georgie. Winner of that match will take on either a qualifier or the number eight seed, Radu Kanu, who at the moment is playing the event. Now, she is battling blisters, and we've seen that over the last few weeks. She was battling blisters yesterday in the um, Billie Jean King Cup match. So, let's see. And hopefully, I mean, look, Radu Kanu versus Fiontek, quarterfinal. Who the hell thought that was even going to happen one day? I mean, that's crazy. Uh, but they both obviously have to win. Uh, Radu Kanu, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm skeptical that Radu Kanu is actually going to play. But hopefully, she does. And hopefully, we get that matchup in that quarterfinal. Second quarter of the draw, and we've got Zachary, the number four seed in... The first, uh, in the second round, she gets a buy in the first round. She is going to play either Sigamond or Zedenshek in the second. Uh, then you've got Samsonova versus a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on either Kvitova or the number six seed Pliskova. That is a fire first round matchup. Kvitova versus Pliskova, that is crazy in the first round. Uh, and of course, this section of the draw will play Sviontek in the semis uh, or her section in the semis. So Sakri versus Sviontek. Could be a matchup that we see, and I'll tell you what, that would be an absolute epic matchup if that does happen. Bottom half of the draw now, and things are starting to get a little bit more interesting. We've got Contivate taking on Kerber. Contivate, the number five seed. That's a really fun matchup there. Uh, then you've got uh, the winner of that match will take on either Zhang or Alexandrova in the second round. Uh, then you've got Nymea, the wild card, taking on Drescu. Good to see her back. Winner of that match will take on the number three seed, Sabalenka. On Drescu versus Sabalenka. Second round. That's a real interesting match. Considering both those ladies are not in great form, if Andrescu can win her first round and play Sabalenka in the second, that is a must-watch match. Fire. Bottom quarter of the draw now, we've got Von Drusova taking on the number seven seed, Jabor. What a matchup. What a great match in the first round. The winner of that match will take on either Goff or Kazakina in the second round. Then we've got Rabakina versus Qualifier. Winner will take on Bedosa in the second. Bottom half of the draw is absolutely stacked. You know, you've got to watch out for, obviously, Bedosa and, and Jabor. Von Drusova and Rabakin are very dangerous on clay and Goff. I mean, the last quarter of the draw here is massively uh, stacked. Definitely bottom half of the draw is the hardest part of the draw. But man, I remember this section of the draw will take on the Sabalenka section, but we all know Sabalenka's not in good form. So who is going to win this tournament? I mean, it's Iga Sviontek to lose, right? But uh, maybe Zachary. Sabalenka got to the final here last year. Maybe she does something. Uh, Badosa, I mean, she's in pretty good form this year. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win in Stuttgart 